What's going on, everybody? Thank you for joining me today. If you haven't already, please make sure you hit the like button because that is the most important thing you can do with me on this channel. What it does is that it helps to make sure that those who are subscribed to the channel will indeed get the notifications and it also helps to push this video through the YouTube algorithm as well. Secondly, if you're new to the channel or maybe you've been ghost watching this channel for quite some time now, please do me a favor and yourself a favor by hitting the subscribe button as well as the bell notification next to the subscribe button so you can be notified whenever I release a new video. And lastly, please make sure you share this video out on your social media platforms to your family and friends to inform them on this news and information. And yes, that does also help to give me a slight boost in the YouTube algorithm also. And with the introduction out of the way, let's get into today's news. And today we are headed back to the People's Republic of Chicago to speak on Emperor Brandon Johnson because I wanted to give you guys a follow-up on Brandon Johnson's 30000 thousand dollar haircut scandal now to get you all caught up who are unfamiliar with this uh, story Brandon Johnson's campaign books has been open and what we have come to see is that Brandon Johnson has spent thirty thousand dollars on hair and makeup yes Brandon Johnson spent thirty thousand dollars to look exactly like this what you see on your screen right now now I don't know if you think that that's thirty thousand dollars worth of hair and makeup done on him but that's what he has spent thirty thousand dollars on he spent thirty thousand dollars to look exactly like this now in all fairness in all fairness and jokes aside Brandon Johnson didn't spend the thirty thousand dollars on himself on himself alone Brandon Johnson spent $30,000 on hair and makeup for his staff as well. But then this goes into the legality and ethics of it all that people are starting to question. The mayor prior to Brandon Johnson, Lori Lightfoot, who was a female, only spent $8,000 on hair and makeup throughout the entirety of her being the mayor of Chicago. We're talking about in a four-year period, Lori Lightfoot only spent $8,000 on hair and makeup in one year, and she's a female. Yet Brandon Johnson, in his first year in office, has spent $30,000 on hair and makeup. It is safe to say that something is fishy here, something is funny here, and it is worth looking into and should definitely be questioned, especially in the light of Trump's hush money trial. I believe Pandora's box has been open with that trial, and it is more than fair to now thoroughly examine and audit the spending as it pertains to campaign funds that these politicians are doing when it comes to the money that we have given them to run their campaigns. So the question stands, is it legal and or ethical for Brandon Johnson to be spending $30,000 on haircuts and makeup? That's the question that people are trying to figure out. Now, he was asked about this recently at a press conference, and I want to play you his response. But before we do that, we have to establish the man that Brandon Johnson is when it pertains to being questioned about this kind of stuff. Brandon Johnson is notorious for delivering non-answers. If you ask Brandon Johnson what time it is, he will proceed to tell you what he ate for dinner last night. And if you have the audacity to double down and say, but Brandon, you didn't tell me what time it is, he will have the audacity to look at you as if you are the fool and will double down on telling you with an attitude what he had for dinner last night. Secondly, Brandon Johnson is the king of making everything about being black when it's not relevant to the conversation at all whatsoever. Now, if you've been subscribed to this channel for any length of period of time now, you are very familiar with this clip that I'm getting ready to play with you, that I'm getting ready to play for you first. This clip right here, it was when Brandon Johnson was asked a very direct question about when he is going to the border to deal with the migrant crisis, especially as it pertains to how it's been plaguing Chicago. When he was asked about when you're going to the border to deal with the migrant crisis, his response was, I don't have time to go to the border because my wife is black. You don't believe me? Well, here's the clip so you can see it for yourself. Just to clarify, when when is it? Soon as possible. Out? Look, I'm still running a major city. I have children who attend schools who have soccer games, y'all. You know, you all are asking me as if I'm not a parent in this city. I get it, I'm mayor, I get it. But you're asking me to give you a date and I have to court, do you understand that you have not had a mayor like me? I get that. I have a wife, I have children, they have schedules. 
And plus, we still have public safety that we have to address. We still have the unhoused that we have to address. I still have a budget that I have to address. And I'm doing all of that with a black wife raising three black children on the west side of the city of Chicago. I am going to the border as soon as possible. But I got to coordinate that with running the government and making sure that my wife and children are secure as well. Thank you, Lawrence. And can you there listen to how he answered that question as if she was the one who was stupid? How dare you ask me to do and fulfill my mayoral duties when my wife is black? My wife is black. My kids are black. My dog is black. My cat is black. My car is black with black leather interior. And you're asking me when I'm going to fulfill my duties as a mayor and go to the border to help deal with the migrant crisis? Are you crazy? And once again, he is going to give the same kind of response when he is asked about the $30,000 in campaign funds spent on haircuts. When he's asked about this, he's essentially going to say, I spent $30,000 on hair and makeup because of black power. Don't believe me? Here's the clip. Um, let me ask you another question that will be the awkward elephant in the room. And that is about the um, Suntime story last week about your spending of $30,000 from your campaign fund for hair and makeup. Can, can you uh, respond to that and, and explain why you think that's an appropriate uh, use of the campaign dollars uh, to, to many people it seems like a lot of money? I think it's always appropriate to make sure that we're investing in small businesses, especially minority owned, black owned, women owned businesses. Our campaign spends money on food. We support black and brown owned businesses, women owned businesses. Printing. There are a number of things uh, that my campaign spends dollars on. No one asked him about food. No one asked him about printing. No one asked him about small businesses or black owned businesses. The question that he was asked was surrounding the enormous amount of money you spent on hair and makeup on whether or not that was too much money. The legality and ethics of it all. Is this even legal? Is it ethical? And his response essentially is, well, I spent $30,000 on black power. And I'm so committed to supporting small businesses that even as mayor, just made another announcement of another 34, $35 million available for small businesses. The question wasn't about small businesses though, now was it? Um, that's, that's important to people that we lift up you know, small businesses that in particular that don't always get the attention and support that they deserve it. And so we're going to continue to do that as a city. And uh, we'll make sure that, you know, I encourage all of you in this room, support, support small businesses. Go get your hair and makeup done by black people in particular. Understand, every time Brandon Johnson hides his failures and shortcomings behind black power, he makes us all look like idiots. And this is what he does constantly. Anytime you address his shortcomings, anytime you address where he might have fumbled the ball, Brandon Johnson doesn't take accountability for anything. If he can't blame it on a Republican, then he'll claim that whatever he has done or is doing, regardless of its failure, is in the name of some sort of black power. The fact that he was even voted in as mayor of Chicago is mind blowing and astonishing to begin with. It is unbelievable to think a year later that some way, somehow, Chicago managed to find a mayor worse than Lori Lightfoot. That is crazy, but it is what it is. And with all that being said, that does it for today's news. So please hit the like button on your way out. Subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel. Share this video out on your social media platforms. And also don't forget to follow me on Telegram at TD Media Group. The link to my Telegram is in the description box below and will be pinned in the comment section as well. Thank you all for your time. And until the next video, peace and have a great afternoon.